Hello, Isaac Slapo here. Welcome to another video. Today we're in Lilai area in the Green Park Estate, looking at a four bedroom townhouse in the complex. So very ultra modern house, you can see from the facade. Yeah, so just to give you a bit of an idea of the location, Green Park is located to the, it's located along, it's off Kofiro Road. So we're very close to the Linda, they call, it, they call it the Linda roundabout, the turn off to the Linda, to Linda Road and to Pia Banda Drive. So just around that roundabout if you're, if you're familiar or if you know the Lamasat complex. So lots of amenities in the area. We have the Lamasat complex as I mentioned. There's a futsal pitch there. Also you can also, I guess the other spots, I think they should have tennis. There's a gym for people who are, I mean, who are, I guess, fitness enthusiasts. That's a perfect place for them. Uh, you also have, what else do you have? Also are very close to Baobab College, just after Green Park is before Baobab College, so you just drive down Kafir Road. Then also close to Eureka campsite. So this is a very lovely estate, very green, especially this time of the year. It's a bit gloomy, slightly gloomy. The sun has come out a bit, it was raining earlier. But yeah, so... Uh, yeah, it was a bit gloomy, the sun has come out now. Yeah, so we're looking at this unit. There are no numbers on the units, I don't think so. But very safe in a gated complex. Green Park is a high-end uh, estate. Very high-end homes here, even if in terms of rentals, if you're someone who wants to be a developer and you want to do something on the luxury side, this is a perfect place. Uh, there's also a mosque, a new mosque in uh, that's next to... What do you call this place? Uh, it's called um, Rupia Arabi Palms. It's a gated community also. So lots of gated communities inside Green Park, but most of them are for rentals. Yeah, very few are gated communities. It's like they're mostly gated communities inside gated communities, yeah. But it's a very exclusive estate. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So each unit has its own private yard. As you can see, very spacious. Looks probably about, I think the, maybe between, give or say 500 meters, 500 square meters for each unit in that range like it looks like but a very spacious place so that's your front yard as you can see lots of space in the front we head this way we go into the main house we go into the house so we're using this door the main door is that one i think you noticed it this is the main door you have two large windows up there for some natural light so this can this is your living area so you can see you can have a living room here, or even a TV room, I mean, it can be a lounge, you can have a TV room here, yeah. Very, tell me what you would use this space in the comments, I'd like to hear your thoughts. Yeah, so that's our first room there, it can either be a living room, and, or even just a lounge, not really a study, but just have some chairs, yeah, leave the doors open, some fresh air coming in, but it's probably perfect for a living room. And here, this is probably going to be your dining room space. You can see, we head this way, and we have the kitchen. So that's perfect for the dining because its exit is direct from the kitchen. You have your island there. You have all your, you have your stove top. You have also a gas stove, so you have option for electric and gas stove. So this one has an oven. It's a flat top. So you have your sink there. The house comes unfinished. I've noticed the fridge. I have to confirm if the fridge is part of the if it comes to place, but it's most likely it's already installed in. It's a double door fridge. So if you just if you have a, if you don't if you don't have a fridge, this is perfect for you. Then this way you have your laundry area with access to a pantry. Oh, the light is not that well in the pantry, but hopefully you can see. So it's Big enough pantry, lots of storage space, lots of shelves. So big enough. I don't know if we highlighted the washing machines. Yeah, so we put washing machines there. And we head back this way. Ooh. So it's four rooms in total. There are three upstairs and there's one downstairs and all the rooms are self-contained. So for this room, you can see, which is downstairs. You can either make it a study or also perfect for if you have someone who's elderly and they have difficulty getting up the stairs, this is also perfect for them. 
You have your shower there. You have your sink here. Then the main attraction here is the bedroom, of course. So spacious enough. You have your hikes, cupboards here. So not cupboards, wardrobes. <laughs> you have your wardrobes here. So shoes, uh, jackets, everything is catered for. You can hang your clothes. If you have any suits, dresses, you like shoes at the bottom. You have the top shelf, you can fold some shirts there if possible. Similar design with the other one also. Yeah, let's not take that much time here. Yeah, so that's the room downstairs. Head back this way. Have a look at the... So why I was a bit skeptical of the TV rooms, because there's also this room. So you can have this room also as a TV room, or the first room we saw when we entered. So either, or this can also be just a lounge because it heads directly to the pool. So which is perfect if you want to have guests over or entertaining people and you just want to have easy access to that. Area. So that's probably the best for a TV room. Then here you can have a, like a lounge, just have some chairs or even some board games. Uh, or some, what do you call this? Not board game. Like pool table maybe, if you're someone who loves to host people. Uh, maybe your kids can have some a gaming room here also, or you can have a gaming room here, that's also an option. Then even the backyard here, where this is set up, this is also perfect for a pool table. This door goes back inside all the way to the main entrance. You can see like a corridor, not waste much time there. Yeah, the pool is not yet, the pool is a bit off today, because mostly because of the rain, so they're not really, and it's empty, so they're not really clean it, but rest assured, all the units are well maintained, as you can see. There's only one that's available right now, so this place is always at a, mostly, 100%. Yeah, but the pool is big enough, you see. Yeah, so very spacious backyard, so a great place to entertain guests. If you're someone who's likes to have not really big gatherings, but just a small amount of people, you know, here and there, perfect place. Meals outdoors are also perfect here. Your kids can play here. This is big enough. You know, some catch, throw a ball and the like. So that goes all the way to the front. As you can see, there's all the privacy is guaranteed when you're in your space. So you, you always feel like your space. The house is, a, there's a bit, there's enough space from the house to the wall. So not really much people can peep in and what. And besides, in a gated complex, so there's not much to worry about in terms of privacy. But yeah, for in a gated complex, this is very spacious. Yeah. So, tell me what you think of the ground floor. What you would use? What what you would use each space for? In the comments, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Uh, this way, before we go upstairs, there's just some storage underneath here. You know, you can have maybe. You know, Mostly just storage, I guess, some boxes, stuff that's not being used immediately. Then here we have guest toilet or powder room. See the essentials, you have your toilet, sink and mirror. Then I think we're down, we're done with the ground floor. There's also a laundry area, but we won't touch that. So if that's something, I'll just do a clip of it in the video. Laundry area focus more on the main house. So as we head up, let me know what you think, the ground floor. Then upstairs, as we're in upstairs, you notice the two large windows for natural light. There's some, I'm not sure what they call those, but they're like the, the blinds. You can roll them down. I'm pretty sure they must be automatic or something. I don't see a, a cable or anything, so they must be automatic. Yeah. Blind them down for extra privacy. If you don't, you're able to see what's going on, but yeah, but natural light is always a plus. Upstairs here, you have all this space here that can be used as a, I mean, there is a laundry area. I guess you'd probably leave it the way it is. There's not much you can do here the way it's set up. You can have maybe a small study, but you probably won't have that much privacy because people will be passing around a lot. 
like you put some text or something maybe she can help i can eye on here maybe because there's some sockets most likely i love the chandelier hanging over the foyer just as you enter uh, okay so we'll start with this room on our left so this is one of the rooms yeah, there's access to a balcony I should be used this one eh? so access to a balcony that's a view of the room from the balcony you can see this is the smallest room among all the rooms it's access to a balcony and it overlooks the front of the property so a great place just to sit I guess for kids maybe but it's the smallest room here this is more of a family home I wouldn't say coffee for kids when I mean, you take your coffee coffee I don't think coffee is recommended for kids though but yeah yeah I guess what would your kids do here I mean they'll figure it out <laughs> but it shouldn't be that yeah because you won't put kid, young kids in a room with a balcony but yeah maybe older kids yeah so it's self-contained as I mentioned all rooms are self-contained you have your mirror bathtub which is a combination of a shower so if you feel like you know taking a shower there's that option for you yeah so this is one of the rooms we head this way we we'll start with the one on the right and end the one on the left because that's the master bedroom the finale so this is one of the rooms second largest room you can see spacious enough i probably can have a queen size bed here maybe or just a regular standard double bed if you want more space depending and also one thing i love is the large windows so the only advantage that other room has over this one is the other room has a balcony and this one has no balcony but you get a pretty nice view of the backyard with all the trees you open the open the window lots of fresh air coming in as you can see so in the next yard there's also another gated estate that's coming up so green park is a very very high-end estate if someone wants to invest in the area the plots available for sale yeah uh, it's a great place to lay down your roots if you want to raise a family yeah it's strictly residential so i mean there's i think there's a yeah i'm not sure let me not say strictly i have the plans to put like a what do you call this a cricket or something i was talking to someone who lives in the area and they're saying they're talking to me about the plans and they're saying they might have like a cricket i don't know what they call it cricket pitch but the place where they play cricket, I don't know if it's also called a pitch or whatever yeah, but yeah. Anyway, okay, so I, did we have a look at this room? I can't even remember. Side track, but yeah, so. Second bathroom, and bathroom for this what? Standard, I don't think we did. We have a sink, toilet. I mean, it doesn't have to do it again if we have it. Sink, toilet, and shower. Similar to the other one. What are these? These look, oh, these are the hooks. You hang your towels there. I thought they were like could be taps or something, but yeah, it just hooks for your clothes. Also, one thing in the hallway is between the two rooms, there's this wardrobe that for storage space. So you can have some extra linen here, some extra beddings. Uh, yeah, it's made storage. Then we head this way to the master bedroom, the grand finale, the biggest room, naturally. You can see, it's probably, yeah, let's not, let's not assume, yeah, but the only thing is the master doesn't have a balcony, only that room has a balcony, so, most people like to, I guess, have a coffee in the morning on their balcony, yeah, so if you have the master bedroom, you don't have that luxury, I mean, you are, but still, either way, you put a beautiful garden, that you can just walk downstairs to, and, Something I'd recommend is grounding, walk barefoot on grass. You know, yeah, those are options. Then we head this way to the master bathroom, which has similar setup to the room, the first room, where you have, you have the option of a shower and bathtub. But probably the, I mean, that one, is, the second room we've seen has a, just a, a shower. Yeah, so you can probably choose. This is the biggest room. Especially the fact that there's like the small walk-in closet here for your storage. Yeah. 
So each room has its advantages and disadvantages. Master always has the master bedroom preferably has to have all the advantages here. But I think yeah, so yeah, we're done with the tour. That's all for this video. Um, like, share, subscribe, depending on where you're watching from. Tell me what you think of the property. Four bedroom house in Green Park, all bedroom self-contained. Um, available for rent. Uh, contact details are in the description. Um, yeah, I guess that's it for me. Thank you for watching and good day.